Hello, everybody. Hello. How do people do that? Like this? Like this? I don't know. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Gabby. If you are old here, extra kisses. Please make sure you go outside at least once a day for your well-being. Thanks. Today we are talking all things TBR. We are talking through my March TBR. I have been in a terrible book stump <laughs> pretty much the entirety of the past two months. I have read maybe one and a half books total in that time. Um, and as y'all know, I typically read about four books a month. So that's kind of insane for me. Um, but I'm being really aspirational this month are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books on my TBR. There is science fiction, there is high fantasy, um, folksy fantasy, romanticy. And so I just gave myself a good variety so that hopefully I'm enticed to pick one of them at least throughout the month. But I don't think I've done a TBR since December. So this is hopefully going to be kickstarting the rest of the year um, and just getting back on my reading grind. I'm excited about that. But to start, I am entering the Massiverse. This is the Throne of Glass series. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this series. Um, and it's kind of having a moment right now as a Sarah J Mass. Um, so I'm excited to get into this. I will be reading Assassin's Blade before Throne of Glass. Assassin's Blade is the prequel to Throne of Glass. There is some debate about which order to read these two books in because technically this prequel came out um, and was published two years after the first book in the series. So some people read them in the order that they were published. Some people read this one first and then jump into the rest of the series. I will be reading Assassin's Blade first because I've heard that because it's a series of novellas you get more insight into our main character as well as some of the other supporting characters in this series and it just makes things a little bit easier to understand when you get into the nitty-gritty of the rest of the series so i'll be reading the throne of glass series it is based to my knowledge it is based on this girl who i'm not even going to attempt to say her name because it is very oddly i don't even know how i'd go about saying it but she is an assassin she is essentially trying to win her freedom but she has to like kill a bunch of people to do it um and obviously the prince is going to give her a hard time and i'm hoping that that is romance related i don't know i have heard that um sarah j mass's books typically have a thread of romance in them um but that they're a little bit closer to like the high fantasy realm because there's a lot to understand i think that there's nine books or seven books in this series I don't remember but I heard that the last book is like 900 pages so that'll be fun but these covers are absolutely gorgeous and I'm really excited to get into this so the first two books in the Throne of Glass series then in a more folksy slow fantasy I have A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross um, this is one of her other series. Rebecca Ross is the author of Divine Rivals this is a folksy fantasy that she wrote this is actually a duology um, and this is also in Kindle Unlimited, so that's the main reason why I picked this one. I like to have at least one book in my TBR throughout the month that is on Kindle Unlimited. I prefer Kindle Unlimited and physical, um, just because it makes it a little bit easier when I'm hopping back and forth, but I like to have at least one on Kindle Unlimited just because that way I can read at the gym. It's a little bit easier. I have it on my phone, um, so I can read when I get bored instead of scrolling. So, A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Um, basically, and I've read maybe 20 pages of this previously and I just couldn't get into it so I'm I'm hoping to try again um but essentially the this group of people was sent away from the mainland um to live on a smaller island and now they're making their way back so it follows this one um this one person who his name is Jack um and girls are going missing from the island and so Jack is supposed to be the only person who can find them alert allegedly um, but it goes through like the elements and spirits and I don't know just some sort of magic system But I've heard that it's a very cozy fantasy. So I want to get into that Then we have Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. Like I said um, This is part of the Divine Rival series that she also wrote. This is the second book in that series I am actually buddy reading this with my best friend. We are currently on page 200 uh, She's there Megan, please please read a little bit faster it's getting so good um and so I don't know when we'll finish this but we'll finish this eventually and I'm just taking it slow and enjoying reading with her and being able to chat about it as we go through so I'm really enjoying it so far 
Then I have If He Had Been With Me by Laura, Laura Nowlin. The second book in this duology came out. Um, I think it's called like If I Had Told Her or something like that. Um, and it just came out recently, I believe last month in January, February, I can't recall. Um, but essentially this tragic event happened to them and you learn about it in the beginning of the book or so I've heard. Um, and then it becomes like their love story, I guess. It says maybe they... Oh, okay. So the two main characters are like continuously passing, crossing paths and like deciding that things could have been different. Maybe they should be together. Um, Autumn realizes she might not get another chance to make things right before it's too late. I don't know too much about this, but like I said, the second book came out and people have been rereading this and talking about this one and the other one. And they've been saying that it's really good and some people have been crying about it. So I don't know. I thought I'd give it a try. Then we have Time Enough for Love by Robert A. Heinlein. Heinlein? Um, and this is essentially about a man who's immortal. And so it goes through, um, he, <laughs> it says, it's a story of a man who's so in love with life that he refused to stop living it and so in love with time that he became his own ancestor. So it's basically just... I guess from his point of view or about his life and just how he travels across decades and time and all of those things. So I thought that would be an interesting and a kind of nuanced, I like time travel fiction, but I've never done this version of it where it's like immortal fiction. So it has essentially, it has those same themes of like loving or uh, experiencing emotion across time and growth and change, but I've never read it in this context. So I'm excited for that. And then finally, I have Artemis by Andy Weir. Um, I literally have no idea what this is about. Let's see. Oh, they're building humanity's first and only lunar colony. Uh, conspiracy theory. Let's see. Oh, no. Yes. This her, her little heist is about to land her in the middle of a conspiracy for control of Artemis itself. Jazz is no hero, but she is a very good criminal. That'll have to do. That sounds very interesting. Um, but one of my other best friends um, wants to read this as well. So hopefully we'll be body reading this this month. I'm not quite sure because uh, she is a lot busier than me. So we'll see if hopefully we can get this off the ground this month and start to read this. But if anything, I might just read it on my own because <laughs> like I said, she's really busy. This friend is also the one who recommended um, Project Hail Mary to me. And so Andy Weir is just one of our favorite authors. And so that's why we wanted to read this one together. But yeah. And that is my TBR. I do have a $50 Barnes & Noble gift card. So <laughs> I may add to this TBR. I have been thinking about getting um, Book Lovers or Happy Place by Emily Henry, um, whether that's a digital copy or um, a physical copy. And then I've also been wanting to read Powerless by Lauren Roberts, so maybe that. And if I'm not feeling any of these, I have been liking a lot of like thriller mystery shows, so I might go pick up something in the thriller mystery genre. But you guys will just have to keep watching to see what happens throughout the month. But yeah, I think this is a really well-rounded TBR for me, like I said previously, and I'm excited to see what I get to this month. So let me know what you guys are reading this month. Leave it in the comments down below. If you have any recommendations in the um, science fiction or thriller genre, um, definitely leave those as well. I'm always looking for new recommendations. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I forgot to mention, <laughs> I'm also reading Us Against You by Friedrich Bach Bachmann. Um, it's the second book in the Beartown series. I think it's the only, I think it's the last book in the Beartown series, and I think it just came out this year as well. But I am reading that and hoping to finish, but it's 400 pages and I'm less than 200 pages in, so we'll see how that goes. Because I really liked Beartown, I read it, um, that was the one book I read so far, so I was really enjoying it. Um, anyway, yeah, bye! See if I can do it. <laughs> My strength. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's enough of that.